P2B is the biggest scammer in the history of Nigerian politics. I commend Domekwe for exposing him. Femi Fanekai they speak. Where he this where did he crawl out from? There is a detail, please. A former Nigerian Minister of Aviation and Chief Tain of the Your Progressive Congress, Otumba Femi Fani Kayode, has said that the former governor of Anambra State and presidential candidate of the Labour Party during the 2023 general election in Nigeria, P2B, is the biggest comma in the history of Nigerian politics. Fani Kayode, while reacting to Renes Omokri's claim about to be took his official, official handle, Official ex handle to make this statement, stating that for eight years of OBS governor of Anambra State, he did not build a single or high crutch, not only okay, but only built beer parlor. As Peter B is the biggest scammer in the history of Nigerian politics, as he is as governor, I did not build one school or crutch, instead, you build a beer parlor. You say you did not build any school because there was no mention of schools in your manifesto. What was Bia Palo mentioned in it, Fane Kaidi said. The former minister commended Omokri for exposing the bee on this matter. What type of creature are you? I commend Ren Omokri for exposing you for what you are, the biggest fraud and Bajui merchant in the history of Nigeria. To think that 6 billion people voted for you makes me shudder, said Fane Kaidi. Recall a few days ago, Mokri challenged the obedience to mention one particular school that would be built during his eight years government in Anambra State. Mm -hmm. In Anambra State, while reacting to Mokri's assertion, Obi, in the Daily Post publication, said he did not promise building of schools, but rather renovation of the existing public schools. So I ask again, where did he come out from? Okay. Thank God for P2B. Femi Fanny Kayode has finally found his voice. I did tell you, since everybody won't use and not talk, you that is not a scammer should return the two billion revision money before you can and took over from me, PC. All right, FFK, you're a liar. What said you have said that I've said about you? Nobody will listen to what you're saying. FFK does not have integrity now, for we are getting integrity. Look at these two hungry and irresponsible human beings. Hungry, they make them misbehave. Not be small, hungry, they make them misbehave. To think I wasted my time to read something written by a lunatic and loose dog called FFK. This dog called FFK backs wherever he is hungry. It's like the best way to get a political appointment for the government in power, to attack someone that seems to be a better option to the person that is in power. FFK, I am missing your articles. I enjoy reading your articles, but since you run into APC, you have become a shadow of your real self. It is now like you ran to APC for your sins to be forgotten. Yes, now. You don't need to say it is now like... Don't quote it. Say it as it is. Why, why has building of his school given the yardstick for good governance? Every school has put their priority project on a particular point in time. I challenge Renan Mokri to tell us one corruption case foul, number of EFCC against P2B, the depressed wife has also still the talk of all right we can the building okay when has building of his school i think i've said that before the first that made good luck a better jonathan to feel to a jobless looking for employment through this way this job seeker go Okay, did you see that? So, Gaza did not engage in you after constant vermis for attention. Talk. Very soon, your eyes were clear. In spite of all the derogatory things you said about your number, you didn't know you should not have gone back to your vomit. Just like a dog. Tomorrow, Mercury is your voice for attacking P2B. Right.
See this? <laughs> See this animal? Oh God. See these people calling, calling somebody a scam. Obi will rule Igbo Republic because, as I can see here, only Igbos find it sensible that the governor did not build for one block of school in eight years, but built Bia Palo. Omokri, please, next challenge should be how many kilometers of road he built. The people are not ashamed of your head. You have as president, as governors. All right. Okay, on my way, but Obi will put you for shame on. Which shame? We reached this one. Trembo brought to people as Nigeria economy. So please. Okay. Which shame do you? Which shame will reach the one Trembo brought to people as Nigeria? Uh, uh, okay. That has Nigeria economy. Answer me. From our indication, there is something special about P2B that you have no other business than discuss with him. I think Nigeria needs that thing most, as I tell you. All of you that are... Okay, this paid media war against P2B is a typical Yoruba Lagos and Mala politics. Just pay gown. I mean to come talk injuries without shame. Very disgusting towels in fancy dresses. Oh. Even P2B decides to leave the politics. Student book can never be valued by decent characters. Peter will always be the way and above him in the table of decent men and women. From the way you talk about this Peter will be, I think Nigeria will try him soon. We need to see what is in him. We think there is something there. Okay, he has to win first and the supporters have to stop abusing and the lie mobbing. The one who won was snatched away from him through glitches and judiciary acrobatic technicalities. But he has never had a date with EFCC, neither has he been charged to court. Contrarily, you are currently in court being prosecuted for embezzlement while you were minutes of eviction. This speaks volume. Additionally, why has the government left him the code after he worked tirelessly for his enthronement? Could it be that the fear it could be true that you did unduly? You did something unduly for your fingers crossed into a common word as you charged? See who the fellow, see who the fellow talk. Confused man. No credibility, no impact. Just falling around scavengers looking for looking for who to be relevant soon. So, you guys pick up the wrong people this time and no one will listen to you. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.